Wow. Love it. Fuck. Welcome to episode 5 of Minecraft 2021. I'm Punkin' on Stop. It's Punkin' Replays. Howdy. Uh, if you remember last time, we needed food, but we also got a bunch of bunch of junk mail down underground. I want this fucker dead. I want him dead. I want him dead. Go. Yes, leave. No. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Here. Get. No. Get. You get fucked. You fuck off. Both of you, come on. Get your fucking dumb ass out of here. Come on. Fuck off. I don't care if I killed him. Get out of here. I could care less. No. That's absolutely fucked. Get out of here. No. Fuck, fuck off. Finally. No. 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 Never again. Drop off all this stupid shit we don't need. Shut up. Alright, we got some iron again. Copper again. Shut up. Shut up. See, I still don't know the goal of this. Oh, duh. I know the goal of this series to have friends on it, you fucking idiot. You stupid, stupid. See, I feel like I forgot something in the intro. Why are they still f pissed off? Lucky I don't kill you guys. Get out of here, you dumb bastard. Get out of here. <laughs> okay. Okay, baby. I need more food. Me hungry. Me hungry. Okay, finally. Bread. Apple. Okay. We'll keep one on us. Okay, let's go somewhere fun. Fuck this shit. So I know there's a cave over there, but I want to explore. We know that we don't lose our shit, so it should be fine. But, uh, oh, sorry for the mic pop. Let me turn my volume back up. Okay, there we go. Uh, just a little bit down. So we're going to try to find some stuff. I'm going to make a vow to myself that we don't go past 10. Oh, episode 10 without getting someone on the show. So we're going to go to like episode 10 will be the last solo episode. If that is the case, I just don't know how to go about getting the other people's audio like recording without getting discord audio in the game audio. Fuck. Get out of here. Well, I mean, I could call these sheep. And no scoped his ass. All right, let's go find something to do. Do I have wood? Okay. Bonk. All right, let's get a boat. Hey, right, Peter. I got a boat. Oh, jeez, Joe. You have a... Fuck all that. Oh, jeez, Joe. You have a... You ever been on a boat? Hey, Peter. That's why I said I just got a boat. Because I've never been on a boat before. Peter. Peter, help me. I need to eat this pork chop. Peter. How am I already seven minutes in? Oh, because the first two minutes were me being fucking stupid. That's right. Well, not stupid, just I forgot that I had to turn the server on. So, yeah. Don't know how to back up servers also, so if you know how to do that, let me know. Yo, this be Danny, though. Since when can't you turn around 360 in a boat? That's fucked. Alright, whatever. This ocean is ass. And not the good kind. Is that a structure? No? Just something weird. Okay. Alright. Jeez, jump cut to when we find something, man. Holy crap. There's just this much water? Why? I hate worlds like this. <laughs> oh wow he's going to breathe look at him dude i'm gonna okay i was like i'm gonna be so livid if there's nothing what is that why is that lighting up i think there's anything interesting up there i mean there's a pine tree pine saw get out of here there ain't shit bro fucking sucks okay is there anything on this little island here people only want to talk to me when i'm fucking busy you guys ever have that people only want to talk to you when you're like Start driving or recording or reading or sleeping or something. Like, sucks. Like, you don't talk to me all day, and then the second I go to work or the second I go to drive somewhere or start something, eight motherfuckers want to hang out or want to talk. It's like, come on. Where were you during my manic episode? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Finally. Manic. Oh, I want a dog. Oh, made myself sad. Fuck. Because I had dogs, but now I don't own them anymore. Sadness. Hey, Peter. Oh, shit. Okay, there we go. Don't drown the bat. Hey, Peter. Are you drowning that bat? Oh, jeez, Joe. Why are you getting more copper? Because you're stupid? I need different voices for this. I'm sorry. Uh, hey, Pizza Steve. Could you could you find some diamonds? This update's kind of ass. Yeah. Mmm. I wish I'd played some more Mario Kart DS soon. I think I finally ran out of episodes of that. Uh, isn't life beautiful, everybody? Get out of here. Get fucked. Oh, shit. That was not epic. Ah, oh, thank fuck. No, 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 no. Okay, we got it. We get, hey, get out of here, you butt munch. Fuck. And that's not like a slang for, like, anything bad. It's just, I'm calling him a butt munch. Fucking, I shouldn't have to explain myself. Fuck you. My channel. Christ. Do what I want. Get. Get. Dude. Grr, I will fucking stomp that baby zombie till the sun comes up. Can I just kill one creature? One creature. One. Is...
Uh. Why, dude? Why are they so hard? Anything just so hard to kill in this game. I don't get it. Like, they updated it to just make shit ridiculous. Absolutely fucked. Okay, I don't have anything else to, to do with that. Of course, I got diamond horse armor. Why can't I turn that into fucking real diamond? Oh, because that'd be effective. Right. Those damn llamas still there. It smells like Tostino's. Hold on. I'll get it. I'll, I'll get the word. Hold on. It smells like Totino's. Tostino's? Totino's? Throw the picture up. It smells like that pizza. I know my parents are making pizza, but like, it smells specifically like Totino's pizza. And I love Totino's pizza with cheese and black olives. It's epic. Or I just eat it regular with some uh, some chocolate sauce, like the stuff you mix with milk to make it chocolate milk. Mm-hmm. Good shit. Then you can cut up and deep fry some spam and throw it on that baby while it's cooking, and then dip it in the chocolate sauce. Mm -hmm. Good as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh no this sucks shit fucking sucks i want to play this game with other people all right um whoa why do you have du he had little um he had little stuff on him he had some gunk on him wow all right we're at 15 minutes i gotta do something epic in this i mean i died once that was fun right i want to find like a village or something something cool something from the new update or a diamond or a nether portal or something fuck so far the world generation's been kind of ass so far if i'm being h which i am fine burp, 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 shut the fuck up <gasps> no oh, i don't have any bones i better i'm sorry dude I'm, I'm i'm a broken man wow it's triumphant finally copper so it sucked when the minecraft uh, update finally came out my friends that i usually play on a server with all got to play the update and I was not stuck here, but, you know, stuck here without my computer yet. And I was here, like, just by myself with my parents. And they were messaging the group chat about how fun the update was and all the stuff they found. They're like, yo, come to these coordinates and see this. And, whoa, come to these coordinates and see this. And, holy shit, look at this. And I'm just, like, sitting at home on the couch, spaced the fuck out, like, just wanting to die. <laughs> and I'm like, I waited like years effic efficiently for this update to come out but like a solid year for this update to come out and it finally came out and i was in a position to where i couldn't even play it and it just sucked so yeah fuck man life's hard sometimes and i know it sounds stupid it sounds like life is hard like nobody fucking gets me i'm not trying to say that i'm just saying that uh life is hard and confusing sometimes and it's just the way that shit works out but like that's the key thing is that even if it's not for the, if it's not what you want, it will still work out. Like, sure, there's some situations that are more severe, like if somebody dies or something, obviously, it's gonna suck. But at the same time, yes, it's gonna suck. Yes, it's gonna hurt. It, it's, it's just in a learning, a learning experience. And you find ways to get through it, whether they be healthy or not. Hopefully they're healthy. I wish the best for you if you're watching this or listening to this. Yeah, it's just you find ways to get through it because that's just what we do as a species here and it's uh, it's amazing that how even though we can feel like there's nothing worth living for we just are able to continue on and that's uh, that's really something to me because there's some days where i just don't feel anything or feel like doing anything or that nothing matters and then just still i wake up the next day and I, you know do whatever just we exist and we continue on so if you can hold on through the shit times, you'll be able to make it to the good times again. And you you need to remember that even if you feel so hopeless because it's okay and normal to feel that way, but you just got to recognize it, that it's not forever. And you got to remember, you know, I didn't used to feel like this. Somehow I'll be able to get back to normal again. And the harder you search, the further you stray from getting normal again, it seems to be. But don't stop searching for that new normal for that thing or those things or those people that make you happy because like when you stop looking to some extent it will find you but don't give up you can stop looking but don't give up holy shit don't uh, i know it's weird to get I, I get deep on these episodes but i don't talk about my feelings that much like in this manner i guess so when i get the outlet to talk about it here i really want to help people and make sure that nobody ever feels the way that I feel when I feel down or upset and that if they do feel that way that they know that you sorry that you know that you're not alone in this and that uh it's okay to feel the ways you feel and shit because I don't usually voice those things because I feel like I'm a burden and it's it's natural to feel that way but you're not and if somebody does say that you're a burden fuck, fuck them. them they are not your friend 
And even if it's your parents or something, you can choose to not be friends with your parents or your grandparents or your sister, brother, grandma, grandpa, etc. If you're of age to decide that, you don't have to be around them. Situationally, it might suck or be like, you can't leave the house, etc. But it, it is an option. Because if somebody ever says like, oh god, you're such a burden, or god, you're so needy, etc. Find someone else. Find someone else that won't feel that way. And won't make you feel that way. Because if you feel that way already and they tell you it, it's just going to ruin all your aspirations. <laughs> and if they don't listen to you, it's just, it's even worse. Because then when you try to talk, it, it's like, why even bother? Because I'm just like, I could just keep everything in. And it's going to do the same as me talking to you and you ignore me. Just, just find someone that'll listen. You know, the worst that you can do is keep it all in. Because like, if you put it out there or put yourself out there just to like, not to get hurt, but just like reach out and be like, hey, what's up? You know, someone be like, hey man, you know, how's it going? And then you talk, you know, you don't have to go right into it. Like, oh, my life's fucking mess, yada, yada, yada. But sometimes it does help and it does work. And somebody's like, whoa, I didn't know you were going through this. What's wrong? You know, you want to hang out? You want to talk? And, and I've been going through that because my closest friends have been busy with work or life or school the last couple years so i haven't got to hang out like we used to like uh (laughs) quartz era of replays when joe started on the show when we first seen twisted etc joe and i were hanging out like two to three times a week maybe more, and recording for like eight hours a day when we'd record. And, you know, I had someone, like I had a girlfriend at the time. Uh, You know, I had people around, but then everybody's schedule started changing and they got busier and got their own stresses and stuff. So I didn't really have a lot of close friends because if they were free, they were tired, you know. So it it was hard to like reach out to anybody. So I just stopped because anytime I would reach out, you know, you just, I just wouldn't get anything. So I just stopped. And then it recently, it got to a point to where I could, I had, I literally had no one and I had to reach out because I would have just not like, uh, committed death. You know, I would have just died. I would have seen no other way through it and felt that it was permanent and I would have just stayed in the mindset and the situation, etc. that I was in. There's multiple things. You know, I'm not going to get into details with it, but... Fuck off, spider! Dude! Why, man? Die! But, yeah, sorry my thoughts are always so broken. I, I'll get better with it in the future, but I'm still kind of a jumbled human from my life's experiences. No situation is permanent. You gotta remember that with the good shit too, that no situation will last forever. And to cherish it while you have it, you know, take a lot of pictures, take a lot of videos, but don't just be on your phone, you know, like if like if something's happening and you feel like, man, I want to remember this. Pull out your phone, snap a pic, snap a quick video, save all your Snapchats that you send. If you if you like it and it brings you joy sending it to someone, save it. Like, save it to your phone, not to the cloud. Never fully trust the cloud. Not because they steal your data, because it's just fucking sketchy as shit. Somebody could just blow up the Amazon cloud warehouse or something, and then all those memories that you have saved to the Amazon cloud are just, in theory, gone. So... Just back up your stuff and make a lot of memories and, you know, ask questions and take the time to answer and don't just wait for your turn to talk. Actually listen to someone and listen to what they have to say and try to feel their emotions and understand what they're saying and then give them your answer. Don't just wait for your turn to talk and be like, okay, anyway, so yeah, so this happened to me. It's okay to say, like, if they say something like, oh, my, my, I got I wrecked my car and then, like, they're really upset about it. You can be like, oh, I wrecked my car too once and this is what I did about it, you know? Only say something about yourself in a situation like that so that they understand that they're not alone in that situation and that you've been through it. So they're not like speaking to an alien about it essentially. So it's like, oh, you have no idea what I'm talking about. So you're just listening to me and it's like, no, no, I've been there before too. And this is how I did it. You know, don't just wait for your turn to talk and be like, okay, so anyway, this happened to me and it's more severe because it happened to me. Uh, Sucks about you. Don't be that friend. Don't be that person. Like, oh shit, that's a fire. I have to go get some beats in a minute here. Beater. But, oh no. Oh no. I know what I have to do, but I don't know if I have the strength to do it. What the fuck? Don't beep at me like that, you mother... Get the frick out of... No! I want diamonds, bubblegum and daffy. Skip to the sweet shop with my sweetheart Sandy. Got my penny say so. I'm a sugar daddy. Shout out to Aqua Teen Hunger Force. If you know what that fucking song is, we got MC Chris, MC Pee Pants in the house. That's a throwback for you. MC Chris. Oh, we're gonna most certainly die, but I hope you appreciate this episode so far if we don't end it right now, and that maybe my words have helped you see things differently or maybe even feel better, you know? Because that's all I want to do. I just want to make people feel better and not feel the ways that I feel when I feel down or upset. Because you're not alone, and it's not your fault, and it is normal. There's nothing wrong with you. This is just how feelings work, and sometimes it sucks. So, thank you guys for watching episode 5 of Minecraft 2021. I'm Punkin on Saba's Punkin Replays. If you like what you see, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and tap the notification 
notification bell to be notified of when we upload again, which is every month. Fuck! Which is every Wednesday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday at 12 noon central. Monday is Minecraft Mario exclusive days. If you're watching this, you are loved, you matter, and it's okay to feel scared and alone or upset. Just talk to someone about it. Uh, have a good day, have a good night, and I'll see you guys, uh, I guess, either Wednesday if you watch the next video or next Monday when the next Minecraft episode comes out. <laughs> have a good one. Bye. Bye. Epic. This kid is so cool. Oh my god. That's, uh, that's Bal Balthazar. 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 And then the egg bitch. <laughs> you got Mew, Mew7. <laughs> Yay.